Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 30th of May 1899, female bandit Pearl Hart and her partner Joe Boot committed one of the last recorded stagecoach robberies. Hart was born in Ontario, but after leaving her abusive husband, eventually settled in Phoenix, Arizona. She had become enamoured with the idea of the Wild West from seeing Buffalo Bill's show at the Chicago World's Fair, and, after a brief, unsuccessful reunion with her husband, moved to the mining town of Mammoth. After receiving a message that her mother was ill and in need of money for medical bills, Hart turned to her new partner, known as Joe Boot, for advice. Eventually, they settled on the idea of robbing one of the last stagecoaches that ran between the Arizona towns of Florence and Globe. In preparation, Hart cut her hair and dressed in men's clothing. Then, each armed with a revolver, the pair made their way to a location approximately halfway between the two towns. On the 30th of May 1899, the two bandits stopped the stagecoach at gunpoint. While Boot kept his gun trained on the driver, who was not accompanied by a shotgun messenger, Hart took more than $430 from the passengers, as well as two guns. She then allegedly returned one dollar to each of the passengers before galloping away. Although precise details of their getaway are unclear, it's evident that the inexperienced bandits left a trail that the local sheriff and his posse were easily able to follow. They arrested Hart and Boot just a few days later, having surrounded their camp as they slept. Pearl Hart, as a rare female stagecoach robber, became a celebrity and acquired the nickname Bandit Queen. At her trial in November, she was acquitted, but the furious judge Fletcher Doan had her immediately retried on a separate charge. She was eventually sentenced to five years, while Boot received a sentence of 30 years. <laughs>